Hi, how are you doing? Ready to escape? Let's go! Today we are here to visit Vietnam, a country of breathtaking landscape, friendly and hospital people, and so many food. Even though the food may be cheap, the restaurant seems small, you may even break a chair or two because Vietnamese food is tasty none the food. So first up, we have pho. What list of Vietnamese cuisine could be compete without them? It's almost impossible to walk a block in Vietnam major destination without bumming into a pho stand. It's simple, staple, consisting of salty broth, fresh rice noodle, and a sprinkling of herb and chicken or brie, feature predominantly in the local diet, and understandably so. It's cheap, tasty, fast, and widely available at all hours. Even though it looks simple, pho in Vietnam are much more than a bowl of noodle soup. The soup are simple yet filling. It's a lot too heavy or light, and when eating, we can find a hint of screen. So if you come to Vietnam, eating pho is a must. Next up, we will take a look at bánh mì. The French may have brought with them the baguette, but Vietnam take it to a different level. Bánh mì is an airy and crunchy French baguette stuffed with an ever-varying combination of meat, vegetable, and sauce. This airy Vietnamese baguette is made with a combination of wheat and rice flour with a thin crispy crust. Like pho, there are indeed many variants and everyone has their own favorite. In Vietnam, you can spend as little as a few cents on a bánh mì, or you can really spot out and even find a mighty $100 version in the heart of Saigon. But generally, you will find a bánh mì filled with pâté, various meat such as pork sausage, cilantro, pickled vegetable, and even mayo. Vegetarian options such as fried tofu, fish, and varied incarnation are available everywhere you go. Sing your teeth in the crunchy crust and what the warm roll give way to a whole scheme of texture. Three second break. For me to make these paper thin rice cakes, okay. I'm going to need to apply a delicate touch. <laughs> yep, you guessed it. It's bánh cuốn, so these that are so good that even Gordon Ramsay can sit still in his chair. Bánh cuốn is another interesting dish to try and can be found on any street corner, but also in some of the fanciest Vietnamese restaurants in town. Made from la round sheet of steamed rice flour, gather around minced pork and wood in mushroom and gently fold and chop, bánh cuốn is a delight. This savory treat is always made fresh to order, topped with dry shallot and served with a side bowl of fish shot with pork sauce. These roll up rice flour pancakes are best when served piping hot, still soft and delicate. Although seemingly slender and empty, they have a savory filling of minced pork and mushroom, and zest is also added by dunking the slippery parcel in a fishy dipping sauce. Well, in case you're wondering why Vietnamese food have too much vegetable, where are the doughy, crunchy fry stuff that you're always craving at? Bánh gối are here to fill that craving of yours. Bánh gối are crispy Vietnamese dumpling. The wrapper is usually goya skin or a combination of flour, sugar, salt, water, and baking powder. While the filling includes soaked and chopped glass noodle, wood in mushroom, minced pork, spreaded carrot, and shallot or white part of spring onion. Once assembled, the dumplings are fried in hot oil until golden and crispy. Mango is traditionally accompanied by a dipping sauce on the side, consists of lamb juice, fish sauce, sugar, garlic, 
and chili pepper. The dish is also often served with fresh herbs such as lettuce, basil, and coriander. The taste of fried pillow cake is very balanced. When you dip it in the dipping sauce, it makes a great combination. The cake is really savory and appetizing. Moving on, we have bún chả. Bún chả became an overnight sensation after President Obama was pictured scrapping down a bowl of this grilled pork patty with Anthony Bourdain. But this specialty of okwata in Hanoi has always been popular among the local. Around lunchtime, the scent of pork grilling over hot charcoal walked down the sidewalk, filling the nose of hungry Hanoian. This classic northern dish is comprised of cold rice vermicelli, slice of seasoned pork belly, a mountain of fresh herb and green salad, medallion of minced pork swimming in a bowl brimming with a fish shot based broth. The go-to approach is to scoop small bundle of bun into your broth bowl and rotate between eating the noodle, the pork and the green. If you are a fan of fish, then you cannot miss chaka. Perfumed with fresh dill, chaka is a uniquely Latin delicacy from the capital, contrasting in flavor, texture, and color. Chunks of flaky white fish are marinated in turmeric before being sautéed in butter on high heat. Dill and green onion is then generously distributed across the skillet, feathering out across the pale yellow fish fillet like moss growing in wine abandoned. It's a very photogenic entry, so snap a picture while the deal is still wispy and not wetted from the blazing temperature. Visually, the dish looks stunning with beautiful golden fish and green herb. In terms of taste, it had a perfect combination of sweet, savory, sour, and umami. The turmeric keeps the fish not only a bright yellow color, but also a mild, earthy flavor. A variety of texture from the ingredient also make eating chaka fun and exciting. If you visit Hanoi, there's no doubt that chaka lava is a must not miss dish. Bún đậu mắm tôm, a dish including a stinky sauce and tofu, is a definite must for daredevil. Undisturbed by the idea of pungent shrimp paste. As the name suggests, the dish includes rice vermicelli, tofu, usually in crispy brown fries cube, and mam tom, a smelly shrimp paste that can knock out your unprepared foodie on first contact. The key to the dish success is the magical shrimp paste, the very soul of the delicacy. The paste is often served in palm side bowl, filled about halfway. Diners are given pot of sugar and basket of compote for extra seasoning, whisking the mixture afterward until it's foamed up to combine the different scents into the wholesome pungent dip. Unlike other bún dishes, where the noodles are separated, the noodles in use in bún đậu mắm tôm are served in chunk. It's known as bún lá, a kind of noodle pressed into patches and chopped into cube, measuring about two fingers long, giving them a harder, firmer texture. The other ingredient for bún đậu mắm tôm, however, are not restricted to tofu only. It can choose from chả gốm, a kind of green rice pork nugget, steamed pork, or lòng lợ a steam pick offal. Another breakfast that you cannot miss in Vietnam is soy. Soy or Vietnamese sticky rice is a departure from other sticky rice interpretation in the region. The weighted, more dense, glutinous shape is come in a savory or sweet option. So it found its way to virtually every town and city across the country, often eaten for breakfast. There are so many different versions of this dish that it's quite hard to keep up. 
with over 20 sweet versions made with things like coconut milk, mung bean, and even the dreaded durian. The dessert options are almost endless for this picky glutinous rice dish. On the savory side, there are perhaps around 10 to 15 options. Whichever way you go, you will be sure to find satisfaction to keep you going until lunchtime. Finally, we have Lao. Eating this hot pot dish is a communal affair with everyone. Digging into the oversized boiling pot, we found that just about anything can and will go into this soup, from tofu to frog. It's best to stick to one main protein rather than opting for the mix of meat, poultry, and seafood to In general, the most important part of this dish is the broth which is not too heavy but still full of flavor and how to prepare the main ingredient so that when dipped the food it still remains its natural sweetness. So yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is Vietnam have lots and lots of great food. So next time when you come to Vietnam, don't hesitate to explore a little bit because you will find yummy food everywhere you go. Anyway, it's fun to see you again. Bye!